Well, hello, friends and neighbors. John, your whiskey neighbor here, and welcome down the nook. Saturday, it's January. I'm continuing the value series. Going to do a Canadian. Maybe later today I'll do another uh, another value. Uh, but for now, we're going to look at a Canadian rye. This is Canadian Club 100% rye. Released only at 40%. I'll tell you a little more about the whiskey when I get back, but certainly this is a value pick in my market. If you've got a little Canadian rye, make sure it's a little bit weaker, like a 40%. Pour a bit and see if we get some similar notes. When we come back, we'll talk Canadian Club 100% rye. Three, four. Thanks for, uh, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, I'll try to make it quick. I don't even have a comparison rye here, but um, you know, this bottle, Canadian Club, 100% rye. It's been released, I feel, under different labels, but it's the same thing. Um, that's the Chairman Select 100% rye or this Canadian Club 100% rye. I think maybe it had different labels in the US market, but you know, it's, it's 40%, uh, but it is all rye. And it uh, has been, According to their, their website or information you gathered that it's got it's got some X new oak, like X new oak. <laughs> it's cast in some new oak. Uh, and then it also has X bourbon and then also X Canadian whiskey barrel. So there's three barrels behind this, all rye, uh, but it is released only at 40% and no doubt chill filtered and no doubt um, colored because it's so dark. And uh, as we get into it, I think we'll find out, you know, it's kind of young, but why it's here for a value? Uh, I usually tell a price at the end, but this is in my market. It's still 19 bucks Canadian. That's what I pay for that bottle. That is a crazy low price. So is it worth it at all? Well, let's talk about this rye. This is um, fruity, but like, you know, juicy fruit gum kind of fruit, just a mix of, of sweet fruits. I don't get rye spice on it really, but I get kind of a savory mix of fruits. Like... I don't know, like maybe some, some cooking is going on in the kitchen kind of thing, but. And then I get, I get really a, an alcohol perfume that pervades. You know, you leave it for a bit longer. I feel some of that fades away, but um, there's definitely a, kind of a light acetone note that comes up. But overall, you know, the nose is fairly approachable, certainly sweet, a little bit of vanilla in there, a fair amount of fruit, and then some kind of savory spices kicking around, but sweet. and. And and the fruits are a little more like that, you know, juicy fruit kind of gum. All right, let's try it on the palate. Hope you got some rye. Cheers. This is a, uh, you know, uh, fairly easy on the palate. A little bit light, a little bit creamy even. Um, again, light, high, sweet fruits. Not really thick stewed, just kind of sweet fruits. And there is a little bit of spice now in the palate, a little bit of rye spice, you know, a little bit of cracked pepper, a little bit of cinnamon. Um, the, the spices now are starting to talk a bit like clove and a little bit like, so there's a spice palette for me in this and it's definitely savory. In fact, for some reason, kind of reminds me of Agostina bitters. Like by that, I mean, you know, that kind of um, herbal savory um, spice palette. Better take another quick sip. Not much more going on. Um, stays close to, you know, light. Yeah, a light spice palette, bit of cinnamons, bit of clove, uh, and then and then some caramels, toffees, and um, and a sweetness that I keep going back to, saying it's kind of like a fruit or fruit gum sweetness. Finish is very disappointing. Uh, probably the weakest part of this, I, I suggest, except for the you know the acetone or the marker note that kind of runs through the whole thing. Um, it just really kind of disappears. And, 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 and for me, if I keep talking now and I don't have another sip to, to keep the palate in mind, it, it does go a little bit bitter for me. Uh, it's very interesting to me coming back to this rye. I know I'm kind of rushing it, but I, uh, I, I bought this bottle, as I said, just now in 2022 for $19. And then I was like, okay, this is a re-review. I've had this before. And I look back and it was almost, it was about three and a half years, November, 2017. 
um, that I reviewed this and and um, I think I'm pretty close to that mark and thoughts sort of um, for $19 um, it's hard not like if you're just a very casual cocktail rye drinker this is you know something should be considered it's an incredible value and it is made by Alberta distillers people who make um, Alberta premium rye which is really an excellent rye uh, the casking to me must be very high percentage x whiskey or reused bourbon or something because I'm really not getting a lot of oak across my tasting notes that oak presence just isn't there so it ends up being kind of sweet there is some spicing which I do like I you know I'm gonna give this like about a three and a quarter but it is an amazing value that is it is truly an amazing value and it drinks far better than than if I've made the mistake of buying $20 whiskeys before this is not a mistake I I'm 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 happy to drink it it's got huge faults but at 20 bucks I easily forgive some of that marker acetone note even the short finish and go well this is a a reasonably okay rye and and I can get some decent flavors out of it so you know I'm a little biased I'm Canadian I like rye so take it all with a grain of salt but uh, but I, I kind of like this bottle even when we had three and a quarter it's like yeah this isn't bad at all so certainly if you're you're pinching a few pennies uh, on your way saving up for a, a nice uh, what's that rye that's been blowing up in the market that I really want to get uh, I think it's is it seagrass the barrel I can't remember it's like a $200 bottle this is a $20 bottle those are like uh, they obviously can't compare and uh, when you're trying to figure out how to get some some coin laid up so that you can get some better whiskey you know maybe this isn't that bad thanks for joining me here today and uh, hoping you're having a good weekend I've got a few chores to do and if I get a little more time I'll try to shoot another value take care